Hello again guys, Armando here, and I am happy to report that I have found a solution to the problem outlined in the previous uh, video. As you'll recall, I was uh, having problems with fiber optic, uh, I had to trim it, well, I trimmed it and I ended up using a 3mm LED with two holes drilled through it, wired it up with some magnet wire, and glued it in place in the pelvic region of the terminator. Now I had spoken with Liam Dillon earlier this afternoon and he suggested canopy glue which I thought was a good suggestion. I tried it but uh, it was too flimsy and I wanted to get on with the painting and positioning of this thing so I scrapped that after giving it a shot cleaned it all up again, trimmed the uh, fiber optic to what I needed it and I used crazy glue, CA glue with a zip kicker fully knowing that it was going to screw up my paint and it did, it screwed it up around this area and several spots but I went ahead and sanded it and re-glossed it with black and then re-chromed it and as you can see results are pretty damn good <laughs> the um, LED can be seen here. I painted it over with some uh, after I after I gloss blacked it and chromed it with the uh, Alclad there were light leaks so I went ahead and took some of the Tamiya chrome silver and painted over it uh, to hide it and light block it. Now there's still some slight leaks and, and this thing is on. Look at his eyes. There's still some leakage, and if I turn off the lights, you can probably see it. Well, maybe not. Yeah, there. Very slight. Of course, some of that is a reflection of the uh, camera. Actually, yeah, that, that top spot there is a leak. Uh, I'll wait till tomorrow, and then I'll reblock it with some more of the Tamiya because it worked really well. There's also a little leakage right there in the center. But it's extremely small. I think I can get those covered up with uh, Tamiya tomorrow after this thing has dried really well. And overall I think I got an excellent result. I was able to hide it. When you look at the Terminator from the front, you don't really see... Here, let me turn on the lights again you hardly see the thing there when he's standing up on the stand later on you won't notice it it's chrome that it looks like it's part of the model and the uh, the wires I'll, I'll I'll hide them somewhere along the way when I get the legs built so overall I'm very pleased with the result it was a lot more successful than I than I had uh, any right <laughs> to be I guess I got lucky uh, but now I continue with a paint job of the other parts as you can see got a couple of parts here that are drying and some more over here I'm getting set to chrome them and then I'll go ahead and add them to the specific spots that they belong and I'll put the chest plate on and continue with the extremities so he's coming along nicely uh, Anyway, that's it uh, for now. Oh, I also discovered this uh, while talking with the guys in the hangout. This other head that I'd gotten has a what's called a light tube. Chris informs me, Chris Whitford. And um, I was thinking of drilling holes and all this stuff. And watch what happens when the light goes in through the top. The eyes light up. So actually, I don't need to do anything except put an LED there. Doesn't even have to be a red LED and uh, I'll get my effect hooked up to uh, Ralph's board I'll be able to get the uh, fading in and out effect that I'm looking for in this ruined Terminator head which will be part of the landscape uh, when I create the base so that's where my T800 is and uh, we'll get another update soon take care I'm back and uh, I've gotten a lot more of the assembly of the body of the T-800 done as you can see 
the front chest plate is now on and all the uh, hydraulics are in. These springs are really cool. They give it a really uh, machine-like appearance. Got some more of the hydraulics in there. And uh, on to the assembly of the extremities. That'll be for my next video. Okay. Talk to you guys later.